Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we are back on our main account. We're gonna do a couple summons here, hopefully get lucky with some key heroes, and then we are doing our campaign progression. Right now we are in chapter 31, an elite right off the bat as we get into the summons. We have a copy of Gorvo, a hero that I haven't built. I don't have him ascended actually on any of my accounts. So hopefully we can build him up a little bit if we can get some food for him. A lot of rare heroes there. We're gonna go ahead and summon some Wilders with our other cards that we've been pulling out of our events recently. So here, look at that, we get another Elite, which is a copy of Solus. very nice. Does a ton of damage on my Wilder account, and another Elite right there, which we got a copy of Gorvo. Very nice, so double, double copies of Gorvo, one copy of Solus. Let's go ahead, hopefully we can pull another copy here, which unfortunately we don't. Let's go ahead and See if we can get anyone up out of this team. It looks like Pharrell we did get another copy of, so we will go ahead and we will add one star to him there, taking Pharrell to two stars. If you guys don't know the story of Pharrell, Pharrell was a hero that actually took me about six months to get to Ascended. Absolutely crazy. He stayed at Mythic Plus for an insane amount of time. Light Bear account, we have a ton of food just waiting for heroes, maulers, Kind of the same, we're sitting on food, just need some copies to get some key heroes up. Gorvo, again, we're gonna keep banking copies of him so we can continue to build him. We do have him there at Mythic Plus. So we need two more copies and we can get him up to Ascended. First time I'll ever see him Ascended, as well as still waiting for Damon and Theowin so we can get some more copies. And of course, Aziz. Aziz is still the hero that we're focusing on. Hopefully we can get some copies. So a little bit later in the week, all right, so we got a couple more scrolls, a couple more stones. Fingers crossed we can get some good pulls out of here. We're going Graveborn this time. I'd like to see a couple copies of Theowin, which unfortunately nothing there with that summons. We'll go ahead, we'll do a regular summons here. Let's go ahead and try to pull a copy of Theowin. 3,000 diamonds here, so 300 extra from our normal summons and just some rare cards, so unfortunately no copies. I only have one so far. I only have one that is at Elite. Would love to get a couple more copies, which we get an Elite right there, which is a copy of Eron. Very, very nice. He was one of the heroes I was definitely looking for while I was summoning Wilders. We'll go ahead, go with Orthos here. No luck on Orthos pulls again with our cards. We've been pulling the cards out of the Faction Towers, so let's look at our Ascensions here. As you can see, we just purchased, not only did we pull Eron right there, which gives Eron two five stars. Still need to max out the signature item, but there we go. He is completely built five stars, which is awesome. And of course, the big, big step right here. There it is, Aziz double copies, taking him to Ascended. We have Taylin, we have the twins, we have Aziz, we have Mahira, all built to Ascended at this point which is absolutely phenomenal. So let's go ahead and get into the campaign, 31-41, so we are far into the campaign. Let's go ahead and reset our heroes. The team that I'm gonna build here is one that I absolutely love, which is comprised of Arthur Gwen, strongest combination that I have seen overall with Taylin, and I've been rocking either Mahira, Aziz, or Nakaruru. This one we're gonna put in Aziz for the energy regeneration. So essentially, this team comp relies on Gwen to do a crazy amount of damage standing in Arthur's aura, it is essentially. Even though Aziz died pretty early here, remember, even through death, his energy regeneration still does work, which is awesome, allowing us to finish out this stage pretty quickly. Let's look at the damage, because we know Gwen is the damage dealer here. Gwen is putting up 59 million damage there. Every hero here is just there to support Gwen with the energy regen, with the heals, Arthur with the tanking and the aura. As you can see from, from that bottom slot, just absolutely destroying heroes, even at this campaign stage. We got it locked out. Ultimates are locked out right there from Aziz, which is exactly why we bring him, not just the energy regen, but the attack rating reduction, as well as the um, 
locking out the ultimate abilities. So let's look at the damage here. 66 million damage there, 17 million from Taylene. So again, you can see the damage that Gwen is putting up on these stages. And right there, just grouped up everyone. Feeble Mind was actually cast by Aziz there. The hero walked up to stack all three heroes because of Aziz's uh, Feeble Mind. He targets the furthest away hero and draws them closer. So with that ability, it, it pulled Falks right into the line of fire. So Gwen just absolutely destroyed the entire team there. 45 million damage, 18 million there from Taylene. So still, Gwen is just absolutely destroying it. 3144. So this is our first double team stage. So we'll go ahead and reset our formation here. Nakaruru, absolutely love. I only have her signature item at plus 28 at this point. I do want to get it up to 30. I drop her behind Taylene because essentially if Taylene goes down, Nakaruru can still pick up a little damage. This one we're going to go with Arthur Gwen combo for exactly the same reason. And this one I'm going to go with Mahira. Because remember, Mahira does super, super well with Arthur's aura as well. Other team, we're going Aziz and Rowan. So we do have a good solid start there with our energy and our support. Pharrell is in there for crowd control overall. And we're going to go with Iran, who is going to be our primary damage. And then Sophia, who is our stunner and our backup damage. I mean, her Falling Sun ability does an insane amount of damage as well. So the first team right off the bat, I did slow the battle speeds down a little bit. Um, even though it says times four, I can slow down the video itself. So that's why you're seeing it just a little bit slower, not quite at two speeds. But as you can see here, team goes down pretty quick, but Mahira with her alt. So making the enemy team actually kill themselves while staying in Arthur's aura there was the first battle victory. Second one, Iran pulls everybody right into Sophia's aura. There is the crazy amount of crowd control between Sophia's alt and Pharrell's fear, locking down the teams very quick. Falling Sun right there does a ton of damage. Pharrell's second alt locked down between Pharrell's fear and the stuns that Sophia provided. We were able to get Shamira down with no alts casted at that point. Let's look at the damage on these teams. So the first one, pretty even, 28, 24, 25 million. Um, Gwen died super early on that one, so no damage in support there. 45 million from Pharrell, 45 million there from Sophia. And of course, Iran just pulled a little bit of damage, but we're really relying on his crowd control in this battle. So we finished that one out, bring us to 31-45. We're going to stick with this team just because we know it is super effective. So looking at Arthur's aura itself, he is increasing the attack frequency of normal attacks for Gwen. Gwen is reliant on normal attacks for both the flaming arrow and the lightning arrow, but also having Rowan in there provides him with faster normal attacks, in turn providing more energy regen. Even here, almost 62 million damage there from Gwen. You couple that with Aziz, who does his own energy regen. Taylene is primarily a healer, does pretty decent damage in here. But overall, Gwen is the one between the stuns and the flaming arrow with the continuous damage. As you can see, just literally raining fire on the opponent team. And Arthur has his survivability. As you can see here, face-to-face -face with Brutus. Brutus does absolutely nothing to Arthur. Can't get through his shields. Can't get through his damage mitigation. Here looking at the damage, 65 million damage there. Just absolutely crazy with the amount of damage that Gwen puts out. <clears throat> so looking here again, we got the back line caught on fire. Trying to take out Leica. Tassie's also on fire in the back. Solid heal there. In the campaign, Tassie does it a crazy amount of damage. So making sure to try to keep her off of the back line, which is a lot of RNG. But if you can keep her off of the back line heroes, very, very easy. If she teleports to the back line, most of the time she'll destroy your back line super quick. 67 million damage, 17 from Taylene, 13 from Arthur. 
Going into 31-48, again, a second double stage here. We're going to go ahead and swap. Um, go ahead to the bottom, staying with the same team comps here. Overall, these are the team comps that I geared. I had to split my artifacts, 1.47. The new patch is not out yet, so I don't have all of my heroes with artifacts. I just have a couple um, with the artifacts. So once the patch drops, I think it's going to be a little bit easier picking up a couple new artifacts. But this one, we did swap Nakaruru in there, or excuse me, we still have Mahira in here. We haven't swapped her in yet, but we will use her. So even here, just waiting on Brutus, as you can see, Taylene's our little fireball, so this is pretty close. Taylene comes up with the heal, which makes her a super, super powerful hero overall. Even here, Iran unfortunately gets the banish. We have some CC on the bottom and Sophia, but right there, Aziz with the ground burning mitigates 40% of the attack rating, coupled with Sophia's spe spectral disruption, allows the team to do almost no damage, allowing Iran to completely survive through a very, very tough Brutus battle here. So the combination of this team comp is very solid overall. I, I love the Iran Sophia comp. Let's look at the damage here. So on the first one, 30 million, 27, 25. So again, damage in this stage is pretty even. Looking at the second team, 54 million from Iran. So pretty much just doing a majority of the damage there. Even though he did take, I believe, two banishes, still managed to do 54 million damage, taking us to stage 31-49. Again, Gwen right in the bottom. A lot of people do run her in the middle, um, which is the ideal position. I like her on the bottom just for the simple fact of Mahira being in the middle or Rowan being in the middle. Um, that way Mahira can kind of hit em everyone on the enemy side. Also with her being in the bottom, a lot of the enemy heroes just leave her alone. As you can see even there, um, not very many enemy heroes killing her, but it looks like this might be our first defeat here, which Taylene's up. It's going to be tough fighting on Tandra, which we got it down. Look at that. Taylene pulling out the big win there. Looking at the damage, 39 million, still 48, almost 49 million damage there from Gwen. Absolutely phenomenal with her damage. And I don't even have her signature item maxed out either. So there, caught three targets on fire. Continuing the chain, Falx is on fire. Um, as you've seen, Kasos is on fire. Rose is on fire in the bottom. Just absolutely destroying the damage. Single-handedly took out the entire uh, bottom three heroes, which is awesome. There is our ground burning. To make sure that Brutus doesn't do any damage, not going to take any of our heroes down on this one. So looking at the damage, there's 72 million damage from Gwen. If you're not running the Gwen-Arthur combo, especially when you go to two team comps, um, go ahead and pick up Arthur, pick up Gwen, if you can see anything here, just absolutely destroys when it comes to their combination. The, the Sophia Iran combination, super, super powerful. The Gwen and Arthur combination, another team that is super, super powerful, have the ability combined with Rowan to lock down entire teams and just do an insane amount of continuous damage. As you can see from these battles, they're not taking... 15, 20, 30 seconds. We're well over um, the 30 second mark in every one of these battles because it does take a little bit more time. 55 million, almost 56 million damage there from Gwen, bringing us to 31-52. So we are almost done with chapter 31 at this point. And I do know my heroes are kind of a little bit of a higher level at this point, um, making this a little bit easier just because they are on a higher level. As we continue progression, we will catch up. Big mistake that I made on this main account was spreading out signature items. If you guys haven't seen spreading out the signature items across all of your heroes, very, very detrimental. I have a lot of heroes that are mid 20s. Um, overall for levels, I could have a lot more heroes at 30s, but I have a lot that are mid 20s. And again, here we got some CC with the tornado, Pharrell doing an amazing job on the top. Falling Sun coming down to take out the rest of the heroes. 
completing this stage as well. Double boss stages are getting tough. Let's look at the damage here. So 38 million, 20 million, 18 million from Mahira. Mahira putting out a lot of damage too. So 36, 30 million, 18 million from Pharrell, exact same. As we continue to build the furniture bonuses and the signature item max out to plus 30, this team comp will be way, way stronger than they are now. I got to cap out Aziz, his signature item, um, Gwen's signature item, Pharrell's signature item, Safiya's signature item, Iran's signature item. Just so many red chests. If I had about 2,000 red chests, I think I could catch up really, really quickly. Um, but we all know that's not going to happen. Overall, we got a stun there right on Thorin, and we got a stun on Grez. Remember, Grez is a scaling hero, meaning that if he continues to get his minions up, as he does right there, you will not be able to kill him. Same with Thorin. Thorin is the hero that you do have to kill twice. So every time that you fight him, you do have to kill him twice because he is the Fallen King. Let's go ahead and look at the damage on this one. 38 million, 52 million there from Taylene. So overall doing a ton of damage on the Sage, bring us to 31-54. Again, lighting up the arrows. Thorin is on fire. Baden is on fire, got a stun. Boom, took Baden down really easy there. Thorin is about to drop, which he does right there. Another rain. Ira goes down from Arthur. Arrows just start getting pumped right into Cirrus on the top. And of course, Thorin pops right back up. But we have our whole team at this point to absolutely destroy him to complete that stage as well. 82 million. Had to look to make sure 82 million damage there from Gwen. Absolutely crazy with, with the amount of damage. Again, look at the enemy Pharrell on that side, as well as Rowan. We have everybody on fire. Just locked out their ultimate abilities. Once the back line goes down, Gwen focuses on the Shamira in the front. Destroyed her as well. Picks right up with Rowan in the back. Got him down. Of course, we're going to have Brutus' shield to deal with. Which is okay, because remember, when he's up in the top. We still have Naru too. This one might be a close one. We got the shield down. Which, there we go. Now we got to deal with Naru. As long as we can get our tailing up. Oh, he took out Gwen. Oh, this one's going to be close. I don't know if Arthur, they should be able to do it. Which they do. Got it done. Naru just dropped Gwen from a, a ton of damage. So, 84 million, 42 million damage there. Naru took out Gwen. Didn't take out Arthur. Um, just absolutely destroyed her. All right. 31, 56. So our next boss stage here, again, Gwen just starts right off the bat with the super fast arrows coming right to the enemy side. Took out Morella, as you can see right there. Got a mesmerize on the whole entire team. Dropping arrows. Look at everybody just stacked up in that whole entire team. Wow. And we got Nakaruru in now. She is just absolutely phenomenal as well. This team staying with, with the same team comp here. Look at the tornado go straight through everybody, straight back through everybody on the rerun. Perfect. Absolutely flawless RNG, which is crazy. Tornadoes hit them twice, once going out, once coming back. 53 million there, 31 and 20. Nakaruru, 16 million damage overall. Let's check to look at the other team. 45 million, 37, and 19 million damage. All right, so guys, we are deep into 31 at this point. 31-57, so a couple more stages here, which again, right there, we're lighting up Pharrell, continuous damage, even though he has a shield, still taking damage. Boom, got Pharrell down. Once we get him down, we can focus on taking out the rest of the team, both heroes up front are on fire. There's a rain of arrow. Took down Grez. Took down Rose. There goes Morella to conclude this battle as well. Very, very nice. 74 million damage there. Wow. Absolutely crazy. Again, I am still just in shock with the amount of damage that she does. Even here, sitting right in the... There's the Feeble Mind again. Stacked 
all three heroes, look at that, all three heroes literally stacked on each other because of the Feeble Mind ability, allowing Gwen to burn all three targets together. Such a powerful, powerful combination to stack everybody up like that. And Arthur can simply just face tank all of the heroes sitting on top of him, all three heroes sitting there. Let's look at the damage on this one. Gonna be crazy. Almost 70 million damage there from Gwen. Bring us to our next stage, 31-59. All right, so the arrow barrage just completely continues. Taylene, if you guys have not noticed, dies relatively quick right in the beginning of battle. Um, pops right back up, usually after the first time she dies. We do have five of her nine set bonus, but she pops right up, increasing her attack, increasing her defense, died a second time, Again, pops back up, increasing attack and defense, which is what makes her just absolutely SS plus on the hero list. Even looking here, 56 million damage, almost 30 million from Taylene. She can heal, she can do damage, she is reborn. 31-60, this is going to be the game changer, essentially. I'm gonna have to figure out a third team on this point, I didn't know that 3160 was three teams. I thought the next chapter was. So we're gonna have to figure out three teams for this. So this one we just went ahead and threw in really quick, which we got absolutely destroyed here. So that will conclude it. We're gonna have to figure out our, our teams for 31-60, three teams, absolutely insane. Um, I thought two was difficult to go ahead and finish through. Let's collect up our loot here, but let me know in the comments what you think. I absolutely love the Arthur-Gwen combo. Superb, superb combo to build, as well as Eron and Sophia, both of those combos. As you can see here, three full enemy formations that we have to fight now. So absolutely crazy, but made it through a lot of progression. We'll get some teams. We'll continue our progression through here and move into chapter 32. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.